Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a circular stamp in Kitsia V5. So this tool is coming under the Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench and uh, it is coming under the Cutting or Stamping Toolbar in the Stamping drop-down. So let me just show you this is what the circular stamp look like and I'm going to show you here how you could do the basic wall and then create a circular stamp on that. So please keep watching. Firstly, go to Start Mechanical Design, Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench, and click on OK. And you get the new workspace. So first off, set the sheet metal parameters to the default and click OK. And go for a basic sketch on the XY plane, preferably, and create a basic wall come out of the sketch and then create a wall on it and uh, the, the two basics which you need to have in order to create a circular stamp is one you need to have a sheet metal face and a point on it you already have a sheet metal face so just go ahead and select the sheet metal face and go for creating a point and just place a point on the surface make sure that you're not creating the point on the edges because you need to give some space so that you could create a circular stamp on that. So firstly, let me show you where you could find the circular stamp button. It is over here on the insert stamping or else you could find it here on the cutting or stamping toolbar in the stamping drop down. So it's right here. So you could uh, invoke the tool in either of the ways and once you invoke the tool again you're not going to see the uh, dialog box and listen uh, until you select the point and the face you get the window appearing over here so this is really like uh, specifying the parameters of the punch you can see all the parameters of the punch here like the height which you could increase or decrease and uh, you could increase or decrease the radius or the diameter of the punch. You could uh, increase or decrease the radius. Make sure that you're not really increasing it more than uh, the tool can afford. And uh, another thing is about the angle. You could increase or decrease the angle. So it's 80 degrees. You can increase it until 90. That's it. So just go ahead and see how your circular stamp looks like. So I hope this uh, tool is uh, pretty much used when you're working on the sheet metal projects and I hope this uh, tutorial is going to help you. And I hope you're enjoying my tutorials and if you have any doubt on this please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you. If you need any project assistance or if you have any CAD projects to give me please write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com with the details and I'll be getting in touch with you. I hope uh, you're enjoying my tutorial videos and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned.